Hey, you guys. I'm back, but this time I'm coming to make a wig, okay? I'm finna make me a quick weave closure wig. This is a 4x4 four four closure and a 5x5 five five for my hair collection. And I'm gonna just show y'all my bleaching and knot techniques. So I just mix my powder and my developer and make a thick paste. You don't want to make it too watery because you don't want it to seep through the closure. You just want it to be thick as possible. Just enough to bleach the knots. Then we're going to give it a little time to process. You know, do what it got to do. Ooh, it's done. Look at that. That looks really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and start plucking, y'all. And I just split it in and I pluck. I don't pluck it too much, y'all, because I ain't really no pro at plucking. But I know how to get it how I need to get it. So y'all seen how I had split it in half and then start plucking. I do that so I won't take too much out the front. So I kind of pluck behind the hairline. So I went ahead and put the cap on there off camera, y'all. I forgot to record it. Don't kill me. But yeah, like I said, this is a quick weave wig. So I am doing it with a glue gun. And I'm going to use some old hair because this is my first time making a wig with a glue gun. But if you know what you know, what you know that your friend don't know about my bondage, you know they lit. And this hair right here is really old, y'all. So I did use my regular tracking technique, so it was easy. I just used the glue gun instead of, you know, black glue. When you track these tracks in, you want to make sure you angle them because it is a closure up there and it is a weed. So you want to make sure you angle them to align them with the closure. And y'all don't worry about the glue getting on the um hair because when you brush through it, it's gonna come right out. Like it's not gonna stick because by that time, by the time you brush through it, it's just gonna be dry and it's gonna come right out. This is also a fun technique, and the tracks are holding very well. Like, I put it in there, I give it a little tug, tracks holding very well.
because I'm going to be the one wearing this wig. So I didn't really take the tracks all the way to the end of the cap because I know I'm going to have to cut that off because my head not that big, y'all. Now, when you get to this part, make sure you start laying your tracks straight across. You want to lay them straight across, just like I'm doing. I did not wash this hair before I put it in, so I'm going to take the wig, I'm going to brush it out, and I'm going to go wash it. So right here, I'm going to just play with the closure to see if I bleached it to my liking before I wash it. Because if I didn't, I would just put more bleach on there and wash it, you know, with the hair. So, y'all, what I was not thinking about is I put a shower cap on up under my wig cap. And, duh, the hot glue melted the plastic. <laughs> so... I got to get the plastic off, but I'm going to get it off and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all after I get it off. Just like, I'm just like, oh my God. Told y'all I was going to get it off. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to cut the extra cap from up under the closure. Because you don't want that on there. You want it to look as natural as it can look once you lay the closure. Make sure y'all don't cut the, um, the, the string that you sold down once you sold down the closure. 
But look at that, y'all. Look at the closure. Look how natural the closure look. I'm finna go wash this wig. I'm gonna be back. So I did a little quick one-two shampoo. I'm back. I'm blow drying it out and I'm gonna start pressing it. So y'all already know I like to use the best products in the world. So now I'm using my Pink Mafia Wax Stick to go ahead and lay my wig down flat. Go on and flat it down. Yeah. Look at how flat that Pink Mafia Blend Stick got this wig laying. Y'all. Yeah. Now, y'all see me. I only put the Pink Mafia Blend Stick on this wig. And look how flat it is compared to the other side. Yeah. Don't don't play with them products for real. Go get you some. I'm going to link it, it out, in but make sure the if description box hair, that take so y'all can hair shop. out. I mean, you can do it after, but, I mean, this is just the way I do it so I can get what I need flat, flat. And now I want a more defined part. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just pluck the part just a little bit. Don't pluck it too much because you don't want it too wide. Then I'm going to come through and I'm going to get into it with these baby hairs now. I don't, I don't do the perfect baby hairs, y'all. I'm going I'm to do what I can do, though.
Then I'm coming in with some foam wrap. I'm going to use the foam wrap to swoop my baby hairs up. You know what I'm saying? You can use as much foam wrap as you need to use. The foam wrap is harmless. So if the little bit that you used the first time wasn't enough, go put some more on there. Put some more on there. Put some more on there so you can do what you got to do. And you can tell the difference after I added some more on there. And I told y'all this was some old hair. And I don't like how the ends look, you know, because it's old and it's different lengths. I probably done cut some of it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to clip the ends off and give it like a little long blunt cut look. Y'all, I did install this wig on myself, and it look bomb. This 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 wig look bomb. I'm not even gonna lie, but me personally, I don't like all that baby hair. So you know, I'm finna go back in there and do some more to so, it. Like, I went in there and I took the side baby hairs off. I realized I don't even want no baby hairs. But see, this this cute with just the little one swoop in the front. That's just cute. Then y'all realized I don't even want a baby hair. So I just went for the natural bust down. You know, it's giving. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share my video and I'm coming back with some more.